What's up? Good to see you made it back to the channel. Listen, it's your boy Trey Sense, and you know what we do here. But for those of you who don't, listen, it is that time of the week. It is time when we talk about the fragrances that I wore the last past week. I'm super, super excited because it's game week for us Notre Dame fans. The Irish kick off their season Saturday in Ireland, and I am super excited. I can't wait to can't wait to see what the 2023 season holds. Um, but that ain't what you came in for. That's not what you came in for. I'm just getting off work, so I still got my work clothes on and everything. Let's get into it, man. Oh, but if you don't mind, it's not asking too much. Would you please consider liking, sharing, and selling? Where's my cleaning cloth? There we go. I gotta get the gotta get the specs clean for y'all. I had five or six of these things laying around, and I realized much better to clean your glasses with them as opposed to your shirt. So that's what I'm doing. Now, now we're cooking with gas, baby. Now we're cooking with gas. All right, let's get into it. Starting with Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Sunday, laying around the house on chill. I just wanted to spray on a little something <clears throat> just to give it a shot because it's in my collection. I haven't wore it. A long, in a long time and it's Perry Ellis 360 NAR the collection edition or 360 NAR collection or whatever and this is just a nice easy to wear masculine sweet woody fragrance I haven't seen this one out in the stores in quite a while it was this one um, that I was seeing out and the one that was in the silver bottle same same bottle design but it was silver i enjoyed it i enjoyed it again think sweet woody masculine very easy to wear not the reinvention of the wheel but i'm gonna tell you something every time i say that about a fragrance and then i wear it i get more compliments like i said the same thing about mont blanc legend red and compliments galore and i was just like i really can't believe it Really can't believe it. Very simple, very complex, uh, very simple, not complicated fragrance, not complex at all. And the same thing for this one. So from my experience with fragrances, had I worn this to work or somewhere out in the public, probably would have gotten a lot of compliments with it. And that's crazy to think because again, it's not the type of fragrance that I think would draw in compliments, but those are the ones that I get the most compliments with. Speaking of compliments, that was around the house Sunday. Now what I wore to work from the house of guests, it is guest blue seduction. A blue seductive seduction, whichever one it is. And this is very reminiscent of something from the house of YSL. I'm not sure if it's loam, but it's it's in the line of of yeah, a YSL fragrance. And it's extremely cheap for this big old 100 ml bottle. I was picking these up for every bit of $15. And to be 100% honest with you, pound for pound, Guess makes some of the best fragrances that you can buy for the $15 price point, $14 price point between this one, between, um, 1981, uh, 1981 Indigo, Los Angeles. Those are some some great fragrances. Seduction, Blue Seduction. They're good. I don't know what you want me to tell you. They're really good fragrances. I was standing at the cash register and I forgot I had it on. Young guy, probably in his teens, he goes, man, you smell good. What I have on was this, guess, Blue seduction, and no, it's not my goal to receive a compliment from a young man, so don't take it that way. But I use my job as um, research, you know. Why not? I'm there, I'm gonna smell good, and I'm that they broke out into a conversation tonight and they were like, something, 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 he smells good. And then it, the, the comment that always ensues is, yeah, he does smell good. 
he always smells good. So if that's my legacy, I'm okay with it. But that's what I wore Sunday. Monday, Monday, Monday was pretty hot. Trying to reach off in the collection to pull out some things that I haven't pulled out before from the house of Hollister. This Hollister wave. And again, this is something that, and I've almost went through this bottle. I'm about halfway done. Part of that is because I'm sure I overspray this one when I do. It's not a very strong fragrance, but if you think Hollister and you know Hollister, then you know it's meant to be airy, beachy, light, something that's just easy to wear, a um, little bit aquatic, a little bit of a sea salt, driftwood type of vibe. Nothing, again, not the reinvention of the wheel. Don't remember getting any compliments on it or anything, but it does smell good. It does smell good. That's what I wore Monday. Tuesday, I went back with, again, wanted to reach off in there, and I like this fragrance. It's been in my collection two or three times. It smells good from the house of Periellis. It is Periellis Reserve, and you see the levels on this one as well. This one will give you a Chanel Eagle East vibe. It's, it's really good. If you want to smell good on a budget and smell really expensive and refined, this is one of the Periellis fragrances that does not get a lot of talk. Periellis Reserve, man. I've had this going back to the 90s. I remember the girl I was dating at the time went to, uh, as we say in Alabama, the beach. You go two places. You go three. You go to the mountains, you go to the beach, and you go to the river. And that's it. The river is just right there for us here in Cherokee. The river runs right beside my little town. Um, actually, it runs around us, but you know, nevertheless. And then you got the beach in Mississippi, and then you got the beach in Alabama. But for some reason, they don't like going to the beach in Mississippi. I do because they got good food down there because it's just hop, skip, and jump from uh, Louisiana. And they got casinos. I don't really care for Panama City Beach or Orange, but I don't really, you know. But anyway, she went down there and there was a cologne shop. That's how long I've been rocking fragrances. This is back in the 90s. And she saw this, picked it up for me, and I've had it in my collection ever since. And if I see another bottle, I will probably get it because I don't know if it's been discontinued or not. But you want Chanel on a budget. Perry Ellis. Um, what did I just say the name of that? Reserve. <laughs> Man, don't get old. I'm telling you, don't get old, young fellas. Perry Ellis 360 Reserve, that is a good fragrance. All right, that brings us to Wednesday, which is technically my Thursday. It is my fourth day of the work week because my work week starts on a Sunday, but it's still Wednesday. What did I decide to wear? Wednesday from the house of Mont Blanc, and it is a new one in my collection. It is Mont Blanc, the EDP. Is it the EDP? No, yeah, Mont Blanc, the EDP. I wasn't sure if this was the EDP or the Parfum. I don't know if they made one called Parfum. I know they have an Intense, which I'm trying to get my hands on, but I think that's gonna be next to impossible. Now, this is a darker, richer, deeper version of the OG. Do you need them both? You don't. I mean, if I'm just being honest, if you have the original, if you have the original um, Mont Blanc Legend, then you don't need the Parfum. If you have the Parfum, you don't need the um, original, unless you're looking at it from the standpoint of the original is a little bit lighter, or this one is a little bit heavier, unless you're just looking at it from that standpoint. Now, is it a great scent profile? Yeah, absolutely. It smells so similar to Abercrombie and Fitch, fierce, uh, very, um, very popular scent profile. It is a compliment getting scent profile. And I got this at a really good price, so I'm not tripping. I think I got it for around $30, $35 for this 100 mil, and it smells good. I mean, you're gonna get a compliment if you wear this fragrance. You're gonna get a, somebody smells nice or somebody smells good. It's just a beautiful scent profile. Uh, I do think you should get one of the two if I'm going to recommend one, I'm going to go with this one because the performance is better. Um, if you find the other one at 
a really, really good price, pick it up. If you find the EDT at a really good price, just pick it up. And you just go heavier on the sprays. And that may help with the longevity issue. I spray your clothes, especially if you got on a t-shirt. But I just think this is a great scent profile. It is a year-round scent, winter, summer, spring, or fall, casual, dressy, whatever you want to do with it. I think it works well. From the house of Mont Blanc, it is Mont Blanc Legend E D P. And that was Wednesday, 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 which brought me to Thursday, another hot day, which is the day I go get my haircut and all of that stuff because it's my last day of work week. Boy, got to get fly for the weekend. Got to get that Belafonte on for the weekend, right? From the house of Banana Republic, and it is Linen Vetiver. And this is another... That smells good. Real good. Highly underrated fragrance here. Man, that smells good. When they started releasing the ones in the colored bottle, like Metal Rains, Grasslands, Tobacco and Tonka, uh, and what is it, Cherry and whatever, a lot of the ones in the clear bottles kind of started to get overlooked because everybody was clamoring to get those. The Rolly Woods Vintage, what is it, Vintage Green 78, White Linen, or whatever it's called. Pure White, I'm sorry. 1990, all of those. Cypress and Cedar. Oud Mosaic. All of those are really good fragrances. What is this one? Sometimes y'all, I forget how many fragrances I got. Oud Mosaic, that's a good one as well. I may wear that tomorrow. And what is this, this vintage green? Not to go off on the Banana Republic. Man, this is almost full. I need my butt whooped for that. This vintage green. This is a strong powerhouse. Yeah, I need to wear that tomorrow. This is so hot. These are beautiful, beautiful scents. I really think Banana Republic did a great job. And it's Black Platinum 06. I've worn it a couple of times. But it's, I really think BR did a great job with those fragrances. And this one right here is no exception. It smells good. This smells like you're going to an all white party or a spring wedding or a fall wedding and the wedding is taking place right before sunset. <sighs> and what you have is just a very clean, pretty citrus. I think this could easily be worn by a, a, a young lady as well as a man. It's just good. I don't know what else to say to you about it. If you don't have this in your collection, get it. Think upscale, think clean. Think citrus, think white florals mixed with some citruses. That's what I pick up on. That's just nice. That's just nice. Very, very nice fragrance. Definitely um, just, just a good fragrance. I, I like the Banana Republic icon line. I, I think that's a good line. I really do. Okay. Now that brings us to Friday. Friday was another scorcher of a day. I had to go to the doctor and I must have showed out Friday, man. I, I must have showed out Friday because, uh, let me tell you, I kept getting <laughs> compliments every time I left the house. Friday, every time I stopped. So, is this bottle almost empty? Yes, it is. I'm about to be looking for another bottle of Jimmy Choo Man Ice because it is right there. Wow, I didn't realize I was that low on it. I still have my Artisan Pure, but I like this fragrance. Um, went to my doctor's appointment. Young lady goes, is that a pink G-Shock watch you got on? I say, yes, ma'am. Showed her the watch. She's like, oh. getting ready to check out. The young lady was like, ooh, I love that shirt you got on. Thank you. Go to the pharmacy to get my prescription filled. The lady's standing there in line and she said, I don't know what you got on, but you smell good. Jimmy Choo Man Ice. Now, this is not the longest lasting fragrance 
of all. So what I did was I made myself a little decan to take along with me. Now, I did stick this in my pocket because it's a very small bottle. Now, I did a little layering. What's in this decan? Mont Blanc Legend Explorer is what I put in this decan because it's a citrusy, pineapple-y type of fragrance. And the two went well together. I would just refresh, hit myself with a spray or two of this, hit myself with a spray or two of this, and it was beautiful. It worked well together. I suggest you try that combination. If you are into layering, some people are, some people are not. That's what I wore to the doctor Friday. Had a long day on the road, which is fine. I love it because I went from Huntsville all the way to Jackson, Tennessee, and it's about three, three and a half hours in between. So I spent the day out on the road, had a beautiful, beautiful time. Um, but I had to stop by and put my dinner in the refrigerator, my lunch in the refrigerator as I was on the way to dinner. And when I did, I took the opportunity to change fragrances. So what I went with for the nightcap from the house of Azaro's Chrome. It is Chrome Parfum. Is that right? Is it the Parfum or is it EDP? Which is it? No. It's just Chrome EDP. Now, for me, I like this fragrance. Just trying to see if my scent of the day is still on. I like this fragrance. I like everything about this fragrance. I like the bottle. I love that gradient blue. The only thing I don't like about this fragrance is this. It's not the best performer. And when I compare it, I'm comparing it to the original Chrome. And that thing stayed on for days. If you sprayed the original Chrome on your clothing, you'd have to wash it to get it out. This, not so much. Now, the scent profile is beautiful. It is a citrus up top, and then it dries down into a nice woody masculine fragrance, but that citrus opening is beautiful. That orange or whatever citrus that is in the top is nice. It just runs through that so quick. Now, am I proud to have this in my collection? Yes, because I have a lot of, of the chrome fragrances not even going to attempt to list them, but I have a lot of them and I like them. Everything from Chrome United to, um, I just said I wasn't going to list them, but everything from Chrome United to uh, 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 Chrome Summer Edition, you know, I, I like them. I think the only one I'm missing, I don't have the South Pole. This is the Parfum. I have Intense, Extreme maybe, maybe Extreme, yeah I think that's the only one I'm missing because I have Intense and I have Aqua and I have Pure, I think, yeah, I think I'm missing South Pole or North Pole, <laughs> Pole, Santa Claus, whatever you want to call it, and uh, either the Intense or the Extreme, I think I have the Intense. And I don't have the extreme. I think that's what it is. But it smells. It smells really, really, really good. I just wish they had put just a little bit more of the chrome DNA with it. But they got completely away from that with this fragrance. But I'll tell you, it smells really, really good. I'll tell you the truth. It reminds me of something. And maybe I'm the only one that feels this way. It reminds me of something along the lines of Prada Ocean. Something along those lines. So I get what Chrome was trying to do with it. I just wish they had put just a little bit more of the Chrome DNA in it. But I, beautiful scent, nonetheless. Absolutely stunning fragrance. I like it, I like it a lot. And then Saturday, again, went checked out a movie, had some dinner, you know. Went down to the Sizzler, enjoyed myself. That was after I had to work a few hours. So after I um, worked, I had some free time. So I went and checked out a movie. Went on down to the Sizzler. And the fragrance that I wore is from the house of Paco Rabanne. 
and it's one you don't hear a lot of talk about, and it's X's. This is an underrated line. Uh, I have black X's and I have X's and pure X's is nice as well. The thing that I liked about this fragrance right here is this is just what it was supposed to be. A very masculine, but at the same time, elegant fragrance. Um, and everything, I wish I could find the box. It's around here somewhere that this came in. It's much uh, similar to the Dolce & Gabbana boxes as well as it's got that smooth velvet on it. Classy, 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 classy. If you're looking for a budget-friendly fragrance that just smells masculine, mature, classy, and you don't want to break the bank, this is definitely one that you need to pick up. I mean, it just smells classy. And this is a thick, solid bottle. Cap is plastic, but still, the bottle is so thick and solid that you just, and it's got that purplish color juice in there representing royalty. I enjoyed the way I smelled in that fragrance. I really did. I, I enjoyed wearing that one. And that chrome is cutting up. All right, guys. That is it. That is it. That is it. That are the fragrances. Those are the fragrances that I have worn in the last week. And we, uh, when you see this video, it'll be Tuesday. Drop my pen. Tuesday, well into another week. But it's coming. It's coming. The next video you see, tomorrow's Tuesday. Wednesday, I'll probably put up Thursday. as a little package that I got from Sensual Obsessions that I'm excited about. Need you guys to tune in and check that video out as well. But anyway, we'll get off of here. Thumbnail it, edit it, get it up. Listen. I love you all. Thank you so much for being the best, absolutely best subs in YouTube and for being the best part of this channel. So I love you all and may God bless you all. Until next time, guys. Peace. Oh, thought I forgot. Thank you for returning to the scene of the crime. This is. <laughs>